tonight at 6, low enrollment. It's a problem RTV6 is learning many school districts in the area are facing right now. How do they account for that, especially when it translates into less funding? RTV6's Stephanie Wade spoke with Brown County School District, which is experiencing that loss. Erica, the district is down 90 students this year as compared to last year. Now that might not sound like that large of a number, but for a district this size, losing that many students means losing thousands in state funding. 90 students down translates to about a half a million dollars. $500,000, that's how much the district is expecting to lose this year in state funding given to them based on the number of students. Now they're trying to figure out how to make up for it. We are committed to not reducing programming, um, but we do have to look at how we can best translate number of personnel to the number of our boys and girls. The superintendent, Dr. Laura Hammock, tells me they don't plan on cutting teachers or staff, but will no longer replace positions once staff members leave. It's unfortunate because uh, this is a great community and it's a great school, great teachers. They explain the decline on the county's demographics. 76% of the people living there now are over 45 years old. We also have seen a 26% decline in our birth rate in the county. So when you think about that in terms of your kindergarten class, one out of every four classrooms would be gone. Until we tackle that hurdle um, and get you know, uh, families, you know, younger families are, you know, having kids in this area, it's going to continue to be a problem. Another factor, the county is largely rural and the schools might be hard to get to in terms of accessibility or driving distance, but school leaders want to remind parents. We have incredible teachers, incredible, innovative programming, and we also have very small class sizes as a result. So if you're looking for class sizes of 16, 18 students, choose Brown County. I asked the superintendent whether closing a school was on the horizon, and she says at this point there is just not enough information to make that decision. Reporting in Nashville, Stephanie Wade, RTV6. We reached out to the Department of Education to see about other districts in our area. They tell us enrollment numbers for the 2018 school year will not be officially released until later this month. But according to 2017, some schools that also experienced a decline were Lebanon Community Schools, Muncie Community Schools, and Indianapolis Public Schools. 